At home in Ireland, I always use durum wheat when I'm making my own pasta. It's actually very, very simple to do. It requires only a few ingredients. It does take a little bit of time, but the results are incredibly rewarding. And the ingredients that I have here are two flours. The first flour is an Italian zero zero flour. You should be able to get that in your local supermarket and most certainly in your local delicatessen. The second flour is a durum wheat flour and this gives it more weight. So if you're making a long pasta, a spaghetti or a tagliatelle, it works really, really well for that. First of all, I sieve my two flours, the white zero zero and then the fine yellow semolina of the durum wheat flour and a pinch of salt. And then you just make a well in the center, like so. It's like a mini volcano. There we go. Next, I have some free range organic eggs, so they're gonna have beautiful yellow yolks. I add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some finely chopped parsley, and I whisk the mixture together before adding it to the flour. So just move your fingers around and pull the flour in and mix it in with the egg. And pretty soon the egg will become paste-like and then you can work a little faster with it. I should at this stage also say you can quite happily do this in a food processor. Put everything in the food processor, press the button and it's done in about 30 seconds. But sure, what's the fun in that? And what you're looking for is a reasonably firm dough, reasonably dry. Not so dry that it's cracked, but if it's any way wet or sticky, it'll be very, very difficult to roll out. This feels just perfect now. So I need to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, just so that it sets a little bit. So just wrap it in a little bit of cling film. That's it. And we'll be making pasta in 30 minutes. You need a little bit of flour for this job. And just sprinkle it on it. And just flour both sides of the dough. Shake off the excess flour. And this here is a pasta machine, starting on the widest setting, which is usually number one. Just start rolling it through. Making your own pasta with one of these inexpensive little machines really is quite simple. And it's a very enjoyable process as the pasta goes on getting thinner and thinner. Fold it over. Now we're on number two. So the rollers are just getting closer together. Okay, next number. This is the second last setting now. It's just amazing how thin and long the pasta is. Look at the length of this. It's huge. This will feed a family of four. Uh, stretch it down there. And all from that tiny piece of dough. And when I have finished rolling the pasta, I cut it into pieces of a more sensible length, flour it to stop it sticking, and then I'm ready to feed it back into the other side of the machine. It's like magic. Coming out this end, you have strands of fresh, homemade tagliatelle. There we are. The pasta cooks better and doesn't stick together in the boiling water when it has dried a little. This high-tech piece of kitchen equipment to help me with the task is a simple broom handle. Once you have your basic pasta made, you can do all sorts of things with it. And this is one of my favourites. I cut little rectangles, give them a squeeze, and they are transformed into little bows called farfalle. 